Hello everyone and welcome to building custom blockchains with Substrate. Remember, this is introductory course. My name is Bedir and I'm here to basically just show you and introduce you to the world of how to build your own custom blockchain setup using the Substrate blockchain framework. First off, I just want to say that you should have some prior development experience to this course as in you should have some semblance of how to program or code in some capacity, whether that's JavaScript, TypeScript, or some other programming language. But we'll be using Rust and installing Rust and various dependencies later on. But I just want to preface that this isn't for complete and utter beginners. This is for people with some semblance of what software development is and how to do it. To start off, this course was based off of an initial Notion template that I had written, and it contains actually the entirety of this course in writing. So if you want to, I'll leave it below in the either video description or in a resources doc right after this video. This essentially outlines our curriculum. So first we'll go into a nice intro to Substrate. We'll go into what are Substrate palettes, the runtime and storage, and take a deeper dive into what makes up a node of the Substrate blockchain framework. We'll download our dependencies, we'll install and use a Substrate node template, and then finally, we'll actually create and test our first blockchain module or palette, as it's called. So yeah, again, I'll leave all of this here, and there's some more stuff down here which we'll get into later. However, I'm super excited to teach this course and to get started building a custom blockchain module with you guys. As basic as it is, it'll give you a really, really good feeling of what it's like and things to keep in mind when you're developing a Web3 backend or application. All right, guys, see you in the next video.